Hello everybody and welcome, this is Spoonie with another shipbuilding tutorial for Starbase. In this video, we're going to go over how to make your lasers pulse. Now this may not necessarily make your mining any faster, in fact it will probably slow things down as your mining lasers aren't on constantly, but it will make it so that you're able to mine a little bit longer without having to stop and wait for your batteries to recharge. This is ideal if you have a setup where you only have a few batteries or just a couple generators. And remember that in a previous video that I'll add a link to, we set it up so that our generator is idling at 35%, but that as soon as the batteries begin to drain, it kicks up to 100%. This change is not instantaneous, and it does take time for the generator to warm up to 100%. So this is also great because it gives your generator a chance to ramp up to meet the demand of your lasers without completely draining your batteries before your generators have reached 100%. So before we can get our lasers pulsing, we first need to change the value of this button that we've previously set up to turn on or off our lasers. Currently, the name value of the button is shared by both of our mining lasers. This means that when we activate the button and this value is changed from a zero to one, both of these lasers will turn on. So if we currently were to set up a YOLAL script without changing the name of the button, the YOLAL script would just turn the button on and off and we wouldn't be able to activate or deactivate the mining lasers they would just simply pulse forever. But we want to set this up so that when we press the button, it activates the YOLAL script, not the lasers. And then when we press the button again, it will shut everything off. So let's change this from laser to laser button. Next, we'll go to our YOLAL editor. And in the first line, we're going to set up an if statement. that says if the value, and remember to put the colon, the value of laser button is equal to, and remember in the previous tutorial where I explained that if you put two equal signs, it means if true. So if it is true that laser button is equal to one, which would mean when it's pressed and the value is one, then go to two which tells it that it's okay to move on to the second line if the button is pressed. Else, go to one. And remember to put end at the end of all of your if statements or they will not function. On the second line, we're going to write colon laser equals one. We're going to skip a few lines and write colon laser equals zero. Now, instead of going all the way down with this, because we want it to be able to act deactivate relatively quickly when we've pressed the button off, we're just going to skip a couple more lines and we're going to write go to one. This will tell the script that when it gets to here, it needs to go back and check if the button is still on. If it is, it'll continue to run the script. Now let's jump into test mode and see if it works. And as you can see, as we press our button, the lasers begin to pulse. Now we can change the duration of these pulses by going back to our YOLAL chip and placing these two lines, laser equals one or laser equals zero, either closer together or further apart, depending on how long we want the pulses to last. This will give our generators time to ramp up to meet the demand of the battery or allow us to run our lasers consecutively for longer if we don't have enough batteries to run them for an extended period of time. And when we press the button, the pulsing stops. 